AABIP video educational series. Tunneled indwelling pleural catheter. Connecting to chest drainage system. In this video, we will review the individual steps of connecting a tunnel indwelling pleural catheter to a chest drainage system. We will be demonstrating this process with the Plurex catheter for this educational video, but please note that these individual steps can be applied to other brands as well. To connect the tunnel indwelling pleural catheter to the chest tube drainage system, we will need a drainage line with lockable access tip and drainage line adapter. Although not required, attaching a three-way stopcock may be useful if there is any consideration to instill thrombolytics via the pleural catheter. First, connect the three-way stopcock to the drainage line with lockable access tip. Then connect the other side of the three-way stopcock to the drainage line adapter. Alternatively, you can connect the drainage line with lockable access tip directly to the drainage line adapter. The dial on the drainage line is placed in the locked position. Next, the valve cap is removed from the pleural catheter and the tip of the pleural catheter is cleaned with an alcohol swab. The access tip of the drainage line is then inserted into the pleural catheter, and then with a twisting motion, the drainage line is locked into position. A click should be heard. The rubber tubing on the chest tube drainage system is cut and connected to the drainage line adapter. If a three-way stop cock is used, make sure the knob is pointed towards the perpendicular end so that it is in the unlocked position. Once connected, the dial on the drainage line is released from the locked position so that the pleural fluid can drain. Lastly, the pleural catheter is dressed with gauze pads and an occlusive dressing.